Renee Williams gets mammograms and does self-exams with her family history of breast cancer. Earlier this year, the 52-year-old felt a lump. My mom passed away from breast cancer when I was five years old. I always had a feeling that either me or my sisters, one of us would end up with it, and it ended up being me. Renee was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer. The aggressive cancer is more common in women under 40 who are black or who have a BRCA1 mutation. The cancers are more likely to come back after treatment and have a poorer outlook than other breast cancers. Triple negative breast cancer is a very scary diagnosis, but it does sound like there's hope. Yes, absolutely. So Dr. The, uh, Sylvia Adams with NYU Langone uh, Health says adding immunotherapy to the standard chemotherapy is a major advance in treatment for patients, mm -hmm. including Renee. We actually had a very early good clinical response and were able to take her to surgery earlier. And she had no residual cancer at time of surgery, which predicts an excellent outcome. And, um, and cure. For patients with early disease, clinical trials are underway to better tailor treatments. Make sure that patients have less side effects from, from the chemotherapy. Maybe we can do less chemotherapy in some patients. I don't care what diagnosis you get. That doesn't mean it's a death sentence. Renee wants women to know early detection is critical. Sometimes you won't feel it. Go and get your mammograms. The mother and grandmother is starting radiation. She's back at work as an oncology clerk and grateful to help others going through what she has. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York. Well, this month we're focusing on the importance of screening and celebrating survivors. So make plans tonight to watch us on Get Up DC on October the 28th. The team will be live at the National Arboretum on October the 28th for our still standing event starting at 5 a.m.